What if I told you your mind was constantly having sex? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? No, 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 not that kind of sex. The kind of sex I'm talking about is two energetic forces coming together to produce a result, which is all done in one place, your mind. And we're doing this all day long until those two energies give birth to a physical result that we can actually see in our lives. This is why it's so important for this video for you to understand what the law of gender is. It's the most fascinating yet one of the most misunderstood principles of the universe. And it's so important because it helps you better understand your consciousness and how your brain functions. Unfortunately, when most people think about gender, they think of the physical manifestation of the two sexes. You have your man over here, you have your woman over here, male and female on the physical plane of reality, which is why it's one of the most misunderstood laws of the universe. But hey, if you understand how the law of gender works, then you can use this to massively improve the results that you're getting in your life if you're unhappy with them and bring in health, wealth, prosperity, whatever you want in any area of life that is lacking or you'd like to see improvement, which is exactly why it's one of the most misunderstood laws of the universe, like I said earlier. But if you understand this law, when most people don't, it can put you at a significant advantage on your journey to self-improvement and self-realization. So if that sounds interesting to you and you really want to improve your life, you're going to want to stick around because in this video, we'll be talking about what the law of gender is, why this law is so important and how to use this law for more happiness, health, and wealth in your life starting today. So what exactly is the law of gender? Well, according to the Kabbalion, gender is in everything. Everything has its masculine and feminine principles and gender manifests itself on all planes physical, the mental, and the spiritual planes. Okay, but what is gender? Well, gender in its most scientific broken down context is two specific energetic forces. And the reason there are two is because they themselves must adhere to the law of polarity, which we talked about in the last video, and the law of duality. But these two energies are not the same. So we have the male energetic force, which is equated to a positive charge. And when I say positive, I should clarify this. I'm not saying that the male or the female is positive and negative as in like good or bad. These are just the ways that the energy itself is flowing. Anyways, the male energetic flow is the force that pushes outside of itself. Whereas the feminine force is that which draws into itself or absorbs. In short, the male force penetrates and the female force absorbs and assimilates. And once this male force or positive charge penetrates the feminine energy or the negative charge and impresses upon it the idea and blueprint, the feminine energy then takes this blueprint, absorbs it, assimilates it, and then later gives birth to the creation. It builds the blueprint that the male force or the male energy has supplied. And with that understanding, you can totally see how physical sex adheres to the law of gender. And this should all make sense because we're all familiar with how procreation works on the physical plane. So why is this so important to know? Well, with an understanding of the basics of how this law works, we can take this concept and apply it now to our minds. The male energy is that fiery dynamic force that we refer to as the will. And this is a necessary part of the conscious mind, whereas the feminine energy resides in the subconscious mind. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I've made a previous video deeply explaining what the conscious and the subconscious mind are. If you're interested in that video and understanding what I'm talking about when I'm referring to these terms, please check out the description box of this video as well as the Bob Proctor video that is linked next to it. Anyways, when your will successfully penetrates and impresses upon the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind will then absorb and assimilate those blueprints given by the will, and then turn and give birth to the results of whatever you're looking to manifest within perfect synchronization within your reality. This is why developing the will is so important in order for you to start creating the reality you want. Most people that are into manifestation and movies and books like The Secret oftentimes don't develop their will. And it's not their fault. The Secret and many modern programs similar to it focus on just visualizing and meditating on what you want. And I've tried this method for over two years and it simply doesn't work. 
And the reason is because just sitting there and meditating in a passive dreamlike state isn't going to do much because that's using a feminine energy, which is only one side of the energy forces you need. The male will is fiery, dynamic, passionate, and oftentimes exaggerating in its capabilities in order to make an impression on the subconscious. And this is the main reason for all the props that are used in magic or other mystic traditions. All the candles, the hand gestures, the robes, the mantras, and the conscious breathing techniques, it's all there for one purpose and one purpose only, in order to make an impression upon your subconscious mind. And once this is done, the subconscious then takes those impressions, processes it, and then gives birth to or manifests the results. And it will first try to manifest the results internally and if it can't do that then it will manifest them externally into your reality through synchronicity and this all happens whether you're aware of it or not and this is why everyone is programming themselves and their reality whether they're aware of it or not one thing that clarified this for me personally was one day I was experiencing deep cravings for Taco Bell now Consciously, I really don't like Taco Bell. Like I know all the additives and the chemicals that they put in their food and I have no idea why I'm having this craving. So I'm thinking to myself, why am I having such a strong craving for Taco Bell? What could have been the trigger in order for me to crave something that I'm detested by? So I thought and I thought and I couldn't put a finger on exactly why I was having this craving for Taco Bell. Until later that night, I saw a Taco Bell bag with the Taco Bell corporate logo sigil on it outside of the garbage room chute in my apartment complex. So I must have walked past this Taco Bell bag that was on the ground and my conscious mind didn't pick up on it, but my subconscious noticed the Taco Bell corporate logo sigil on it process that into my subconscious mind which then manifested an internal craving for Taco Bell when I myself consciously don't even like Taco Bell and this is exactly why I always talk about how important it is to stand guard at your conscious mind and be aware of what is being produced and what you're allowing in your mind because if you're not controlling what's going in your mind and being produced then someone else is able to produce whatever results they want through your body Anyone that's craving Taco Bell after this, I'm not guilty. <laughs> Go out and get it if you wanna do that. I'm sorry, I just had to use that as an example. But seriously, the subconscious mind sees all and knows all. And this is why when I wasn't consciously aware of what was going on around me, my subconscious mind still picked up on the Taco Bell corporate logo and then it produced an internal craving. This is why it's called sex on the mind. And it's through this law that NLP or neuro linguistic programming works through people being bombarded with subliminal messaging on a constant basis. And it was after this Taco Bell bag incident and many other incidents, but really this one where I started to become very aware of how easily programmable our minds can be when we're not consciously aware of what's going on around us. And with this understanding, I began to only listen to positive music while driving and positive audiobooks or podcasts while I'm in the car as well. Because you're in such a relaxed, hypnotic state when you're driving, oftentimes you can just zone out. And when you're zoned out, you're leaving your subconscious mind wide open to be programmed. And in addition to this, I no longer mindlessly just scroll through social media and I don't watch or read the news. I don't want that to be processed by my subconscious and then manifest it somehow in my life. So please do yourself a favor and think next time before you start scrolling through social media on your phone or reading news feeds and trying to find the right article, all of the articles that you're flipping through, all of the pictures, all of the headlines, all of that's going into your subconscious mind, whether you like to or not. And yes, it will produce a result and an emotional state in you. And you don't even have to consciously be aware of what's going into your mind. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, geez, that sounds pretty paranoid. Where's the fun in constantly monitoring everything I do? And while you're not going to be able to block out everything unwanted from going into your subconscious, you can use this law to your advantage. You can start writing out positive messages and hiding them around the house or have someone else hide them for you. You can also go through your playlist you listen to the most while driving and delete any songs with negative lyrics. This works because your conscious mind isn't really seeing or hearing them, but your subconscious is picking it all up. It's processing it and then it's manifesting it. The subconscious mind is the link to God or the divine. It's the portal to the higher realms of thoughts and ideas. And unfortunately, there are entities 
corporate entities, people in power that don't want you tapping in and in tune with this power, which is why they're constantly throwing distractions at you in order to program their will into your mind. So you produce results through your actions that best benefit those corporate entities and the powers that should not be. This is why it's so important to understand how our mind works and how we can change our programming in our subconscious mind if we're unhappy with the results we're getting in our life. If you haven't seen my video yet on the subconscious mind and what it is, I'm going to link that right here. You can go check that out as well as a Bob Proctor video where he explains in such perfect detail how the subconscious mind is programmed at birth and how you can reprogram your subconscious mind if you're unhappy with the results you're getting. Please check those videos out. It will really help you. It's changed my life around and I know it's going to speak to someone that's watching this video. If you're in a rut, you're not alone. We've all been there. There are resources and tools on the internet to help you. These two videos will definitely help you out. I love you all. Have a blessed rest of your day. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your time. Continue to spread your light, continue to shine.